Howdy Banjo Ben here in the cabin with a good friend of mine, Mr. Russ Carson. Many of you know who Russ is. If you don't, you will know who Russ is. Um, after I tell you who he is. Russ, good to have you here today, man. Ben, it's good to have you. Good to have you, brother. And uh, Russ is, is one of my good buddies and got to know him here since he moved to Nashville and I moved to Nashville. And uh, Russ is one of the best banjo players that I've ever met. And I only say that because I've met Earl Scruggs, so I can't say you're the best. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, but Russ <laughs> plays for, um, for a guy named Ricky Skaggs. You may have heard of him too. So uh, Russ is the, the banjo man out there on the road. And the reason why we're coming to you today is because we have something really, really cool to show you. And it could be yours. Is that right, Russ? It could be. Yes, yeah? sir. Tell us about this. What do you got, buddy? Well, right here, this is a 1981 Gold Star JD Crow model. Um, and this was the, the top of the line banjo that they offered in that time period when they were making banjos from the 70s through uh -huh. the, the mid 80s. And what this is, it's a faithful copy of JD's 34 Granada. And they went all out on the very first run. They made a total of 80 of these okay. in 81. And what they did, they went to the same mill that Gibson supplied their wood uh, you know, for those old Granadas and mm -hmm. it's old growth figured Michigan maple. Oh wow. Uh, neck. I think it's beautiful. It's, it's something else. And the thing that makes this one so unique is the fact that it's museum grade. It's, it's basically a brand new 37 year old instrument. Wow. And the cool thing was it was a, essentially a 30 year old Granada copy when it was new. So I mean, you're looking at a, a six-year-old Granada copy that's, you know, it, it's, it's just about. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was looking at it earlier and I, I just couldn't, I couldn't find any, anything wrong with it. I mean, you let me play that thing for about 10 minutes and I'll, I'll do something to it. So I'm not going to touch it. Actually, I did get a chance to play it and it plays awesome. It sounds uh, great. And, and like you said, it's, it's, uh, it's like a time capsule. It is. You just open up a 37-year-old instrument that mm -hmm. hadn't, been, hadn't been touched. Uh, do you know who owned it? I do not. I, yeah. I, I, I'm the original I'm not, owner. Just bought it and they, they put it up. They bought it from Saga in 1981. They stuck it under a bed and I got it a couple days ago. Wow. Um, and usually I was telling Ben, you know, instruments like this, you, you have to take them apart and wash them and clean them and kind of get some of the gunk and right. if you want to really clean it up. This, I took it apart and inspected everything and all I had to do was wipe over it with a microfiber cloth and just get that tiny little layer of dust off Yeah. and, and that's it. Um, the banjo is turnkey and ready to go. It, it's in the original uh, Guardian case, which okay. is a miracle because it wasn't a good case. They were terrible. but. It survived without a mark on it. I mean, wow. just the fact that that survived, yeah. you never see those. Right. Um, uh, the head has been replaced on this banjo. There was a tear in the original Remo. I put a new, slightly thicker Huber head on it, and I have the factory bridge um, to go on the banjo. Okay. Uh, right now, there's uh, one of Silvio Ferretti's bridges because I've got gigantic hands and I need Crow spacing in the 11 16th size bridge, otherwise, you know, gets a little bit too tight. Gotcha. Out. Okay. But you have the original one. I do, and I'll put it back on. So if folks haven't figured it out yet, this thing's for sale. You'd like to uh, to, to uh, get it in somebody's hands that would have, would appreciate it. And yes. we were talking about that. Like, the folks who know who these, um, what these banjos are, they know what they are. Yeah. You know, and so, um, you know, you might hear the word uh, gold star and just think, well, I've seen quite a few gold stars around. Well, you, you haven't not seen a lot of these. Not like this. Not these uh, 1981 first batch. Yeah, no. Huh. Well, I'm sure folks want to hear it. Yeah. And um, let's uh, let's play something just so, so folks can hear it here. And uh, we'll talk about uh, what they might, what else they might get if they decide okay. to be the owner. Yeah, let's we got some surprise, so hang out. <laughs> right. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 
What do you think of it? Because you, you have one too, right? You I have do. One. I do. I've, Which is why you're selling this. Yes. You were telling me you'd love to keep it, but... I already have... Num this is number 28, and I already have number 5, and I've had that banjo for going on 6, 7 years now, and, and I'm not a collector. I'm a player, and I already have a gorgeous example of right. one of these. And I'm not going to be selfish. These need to be out in public. They need to be played. They need to be appreciated. What good would this do sitting in my closet with me going, hey, I've got two of them. Right. That's great. Yeah. So that's why it's for sale. It needs to be out there. It needs to be enjoyed. And it needs to be loved. Yeah, you play yours a lot with Ricky, don't you? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a really cool banjo. Of course, yours has some miles on it. This one does not. Um, that's awesome. Well, if folks are interested, let's uh, let's make them a, a deal that they can't refuse. Um, if they buy this banjo from you, uh, what will they get? They get the banjo. Yes, sir. They get the case that they it is in. Mm -hmm. uh, the original bridge. Yep. Uh, what else can you can you throw in there? Ah, uh, we'll throw in a good old Skype lesson. Uh, okay. We'll definitely throw that in there. Cool. So you get a Skype lesson with Ricky Skaggs, banjo player, if you buy this banjo. And not only that, I will give you. Um, Three months membership on the website, which has got quite a bit of value. That's more than what the shipping's going to cost on this thing. So um, I'll hook you up with that. If you're already a member on the site and you don't want that three months, I'll, I'll throw you a t-shirt and a hat. So. <laughs> we'll make it worth your while. Yeah, hey, 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 I like your hat. There you go. Hey, man. Yeah. See any of my videos, man. You're right. I'm always wearing that hat. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, awesome, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'm, I'm excited for whoever's going to get it and own not only a, a mint killer sounding banjo but a piece of history no which doubt. is really cool really really cool yes, all right sir. so y'all reach out to me or to uh, mr russ here and uh, you can send me a message through the website if you're interested in purchasing this thing i, I don't imagine it's going to stick around too terribly long so if you're interested no. just let me know and uh we'll we'll shoot you more details if you need them thanks guys adios